Virtual Lab. Separating Substances. Select Lab Report now to download a new lab report and save it to your computer or another location. You'll need to fill out this document as you work through the virtual lab. Imagine your local government has hired you to help set up a plant to recycle waste cans. Instead of sending them to the landfill, nearly all these cans are made of aluminum or steel that is coated with a layer of tin. The cans aren't sorted before they're delivered to the recycling plant, but the paper and plastic wrappers and labels have been taken off. So how do you isolate the metals? You'll use the tools in this virtual lab. Click Background to learn why we should recycle aluminum and tin cans. So, you're helping to set up a plant to recycle cans for your county. What are the challenges? Well, one is that discarded cans are often all crushed together, regardless of whether they are made of aluminum or tin and steel. This makes them easy to transport, but it means they have to be isolated at the recycling plant into aluminum, tin, and steel. The good news is that the concepts of chemical properties, chemical change, physical properties, and physical change provide a means of separating the metals. So, let's first define these concepts. A physical property is a characteristic that can be observed or measured without changing the identity of the substance. A physical change in a substance does not involve a change in the identity of the substance. A chemical property relates to the ability of a substance to undergo changes that transform it into different substances. A chemical change occurs when one or more substances are converted into different substances. Now let's use the definitions for physical and chemical properties. For each metal, determine whether each property is a chemical property or a physical property. Then. Place each property in the appropriate category. Click OK. Not quite. One or more of your answers are incorrect. Remember that a chemical property relates to the ability of a substance to change its identity. A physical property does not involve a change in identity. This section is a demonstration of the main features of the virtual lab and how you can use it. In the Perform section, you'll make a series of tests on aluminum, steel, and tin. As you discover what happens to them in different conditions, you'll write your observations in the lab report. You can then analyze these results to come up with a plan for recycling metal cans for your county. To conduct these tests, choose one metal sample and one condition at a time. Observe what, if any, chemical or physical change the metal undergoes. Make a note of each observation in your lab report. Trying out all these combinations will help you to understand how you can use the chemical and physical properties of these metals to separate them out for recycling. Your lab report helps you plan the order in which you do your tests, and it'll help you organize your observations in a logical way. So, what tests can you do? Well, you can try to attract the metals with a magnet. You can put them in water and see if any of them float. That'll show if their densities are very different. You can try to melt them at different temperatures. Or you can try to dissolve them in a basic solution and in an acidic solution. Click Reset to run another test. For the best results, try all metals and all conditions. When you've written your observations in your lab report, your next step will be to work out how to recycle these metals. The Analyze section has a different tool to help you with this. Now you've seen the tools you can use. Go to the next screen to decide what tables you use in the lab report.
You're going to use the virtual lab to put the metal samples through a variety of conditions. Your observations of what happens will help you decide how best to recycle these metals from waste cans. Take some time to write a plan in your lab report. Consider these questions. What order will you test the conditions in? What observations will you need to make for each test? Will they all be the same? What's the best way to organize your observations in one or more data tables to make it as easy as possible to analyze? You can use the data tables already in the lab report, or you can adapt them to match your plan. Click each table to learn about some of the trade-offs associated with each one. This simple table has a place for observations about each metal but you'll need one of these tables for every condition you test. This table covers all combinations of conditions and metals, but it's more complex and you have less. This table covers all combinations of conditions and metals, but it's more complex and you have less room to write your observations. The test vessel is ready for you to use. See what happens when you place each metal into the conditions you select for investigation. When you've made enough observations to help you with a plan for isolating the metals, go to the Analyze screen.
Now you're going to use the observations you've made. Your task is to come up with a process to isolate the metals in the cans based on their physical and chemical properties. What do you need to consider? Well, you can do this process in just two steps, and don't forget that the physical and chemical properties are very different. How can you make these work for you? If you haven't already done so, write your process to separate all three metals in your lab report. Then. Use this screen to test your approach. Not quite. If you want to do some more analysis, you can run through steps one and two again, or you can return to perform at any time to make additional observations. Good work! You've identified a two-step process that has separated the three metals. Be sure your lab report has complete observations and a description of your proposed plan. Then answer these questions in your lab report. Add any additional information or ideas that you think are relevant. You can always go back to perform or analyze and gather more information if you need to. Now that you've identified a recycling process for the waste cans, think about how you did this. Which metal did you separate first? What process did you use to do this, and what property of the metal did it involve? Was this a physical property or a chemical one? And how did you separate the other two metals? Review your lab report. After you present your findings on a possible recycling process to the members of your local government, they ask if there are any other possible alternatives. Take another look at your lab report. Is there another way you can use these processes to isolate the metals? You can test other approaches using this tool. If you need to remind yourself of the properties of the metals, you can return to the Perform section. When you find another successful approach, Take a screenshot and put it in your lab report. In your lab report, outline which approach you'd recommend to the members of your local government, along with the reasons why. You used chemical and physical properties to isolate aluminum, steel, and tin. Of course, in a recycling plant, there are many complex processes involved in reclaiming metals for reuse. But all of them rely on chemical and physical properties for isolating the metals. Now that you've finished the lab, remember to check your work in your lab report and make sure you save it.